are strong. Do you think that these numbers will change under Trump's new term in office? We have to remember that uh, Donald Trump is supported by these Christian nationalists who have these um, esoteric millennial beliefs uh, that Israel uh, is supposed to be controlled, or Palestine, but they call it uh, Israel, is supposed to be uh, controlled um, only by uh, the Jewish people until Christ returns. It's no, not worth even explaining this far-right Christian nationalist uh, ideology. But that's a big part of uh, Trump's base. Um, it's a dangerous base, an ignorant base, a racist, uh, Islamophobic, anti-Palestinian base. I think, frankly, the number 43,000 that we hear in the U.S. mainstream media every day is an extremely low number. We're talking about 13 uh, months and really 76 years of a dehydration campaign, of a starvation campaign. And we have to remember that what I'm talking about right now, and even the fact that I have this uh, Palestinian necklace around my neck is not allowed um, on TV in the United States. It's really the West and the United States' is, uh, genocide. They're the ones that created Israel in 1948, not for religious reasons. The religious reasons are merely uh, the cover, but for imperial, colonial uh, reasons. So. CNN, Fox News, the full gamut of mainstream media in my country, all of these politicians, Democrat and Republican, how shameful 13 months into a Holocaust when they've told us so many times, never again, uh, we see this playing out. A more accurate death count right now, Alejandro, would be in the range of 200,000 Palestinians. But with this bombing, this shelling, this starvation of northern Gaza, it could be actually much higher. I don't see a reason to believe that Trump would change uh, anything. I don't know that a Holocaust can get uh, any worse, but we do have to remember that it was Trump that moved the uh, U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Uh, it was Trump who originally cut uh, the small amount of trickling